it's Alan from Hacked Gadgets here. Just wanted to show you my latest alarm clock. Probably the world's loudest. Maybe. Okay, we've all seen these little alarm clocks before. You can buy them anywhere. They cost about a dollar. Runs off a single AA battery. Works pretty good for a buck. There's two little knobs here. One knob is just to adjust the alarm time. So you'll see as I adjust this one here, that's the alarm indicator time. The other knob adjusts the actual time of the clock. So we can spin this one around, it moves the minute hand. Nothing special, what we expect. There's one more little switch here which basically turns the alarm on or off. I'll make sure for this case it's on. And just to show you what the alarm sounds like, stock, not very impressive. I'll spin the alarm over. And I'll turn it off. Wow, is, is that going to wake you up? Maybe, it's not going to wake me up. So what's the solution? Well, here's the solution. Might be a little bit overkill. Works really well though. This is a fire alarm bell, except it's a clock. This is 80% bell, 20% clock. I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, so this is a closer look at the bell. Or should I say alarm clock? Standard fire alarm bell here. You'll notice the base. All that is is a coat hanger. Seems to work quite well. And on the back, you'll notice this is actually exactly the same clock in a different housing. This one has a little fold down area here, exposing the clock. The mechanism is exactly the same. And you'll notice there's one wire coming off here. And that just goes off to the back here. It's plugged into a power bar. That's the only plug-in this device needs. I can remove this clock. It's connected to this circuit board via two wires. And what this allows it to do is this circuit board allows the clock to activate the, the bell instead of the piezo buzzer, which is much more effective. Okay, now for a quick demo. To activate the alarm, I'm just going to simply set the alarm time to the current time. And there you have it. For more information, and if you want to build your own, go to hackedgadgets.com.